about my education is the fact that I got to take a lot of different classes that I had no idea what I was that I would be interested in certain courses so I think for myself just even taking screenwriting I had no idea I'd be interested in that I always knew I wanted to be an English major I took a Shakespeare course and I actually love Shakespeare so I believe that as far as my education goes, I just had a lot of opportunities to take different classes and experiment and find out more about myself. I remember taking a photography class in high school and then loving it so much that when I went to college, I took photography. So I think it's a great time to experiment just different things that you might have a little bit of interest in or never even thought about and then expand on it. I picked radio as a career. Well, you know what? I'm going to be honest. It's more like radio picked me because I hadn't really thought about it. And sometimes in life, that's just what happens. It's a path that you didn't start out thinking you were gonna go on, but then you end up there. So I really had a background in marketing, and then I had an opportunity to come to Sirius Satellite Radio. And initially, I wanted to apply for a job in the marketing department, but then there was an opportunity for me to be on air, and you know, I started doing it. I wasn't very good at it at first. I had no experience, but I find that a lot of things in my life that I've done, I did it with no experience at all at first. And then it's just a process of educating yourself and growing and learning. And even when you think you're, you're mastering something, you can always learn more. So even with the job in radio, you know, things are always evolving. So it's not just radio anymore. Now it's radio, it's television. It's social media, it's branding, it's endorsements. It's a lot of different things that come with it. So once you get one thing down pat, you just grow. There's a few secrets that have contributed to my success. One of them is to be on time. And you'd be surprised how many people just aren't able to even do that little thing. But it's important to be reliable and being on time and being reliable go hand in hand. So. I remember working for artists who sometimes they would be hours late or maybe not show up at all and that artist might not ever get booked for something again. Even at my job now, being on time is so important because we crack the mic at 6 a.m. on the dot and before I do that, I'm doing show prep and I'm in you know, makeup. So there's a lot of things I have to do even before we go on the air at 6 and it's so important for me to be here and be on time and not feel like I'm pressured, I'm in a rush, I'm flustered. So being on time is one thing. Another thing I would say is networking. It's really important to make sure that you get out and meet other people, not just the people that you see every single day, but people maybe that work in different departments, at different businesses, just so that you can go and mix and mingle because that way when you want to move out of your job into another career or maybe have you know, a job similar at a different business, then at least you have those connections in place already. So sometimes people don't feel like going out, they're lazy, I don't want to leave my house, I don't feel like getting dressed. But networking really is a job in itself. And most of the jobs that I've ever gotten is because of people that I know and that I've seen them, they are familiar with me, we've socialized, they're comfortable with me. So I've been able to get jobs that way. And that's helped me be successful. And just to treat people well. Uh, you know, we have a lot of different options as far as hiring someone and uh, people can you know pick and choose you if they want to but I think you have a greater chance if you're a good person and you put great things out in the universe and people can sense that in you because at the end of the day we all would rather work with somebody who we like personally than someone who we have no connection to <laughs> Thank you. 
Thank you.